What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. Make sure y'all like this video and share because we're going to talk about Aoki. It's been a while since I've spoken about Aoki. And this, to me, is getting it's going viral. And I understand why, but I, I want to get into some, some dynamics about her and why we are at this point to where you have this young girl who's 21 years old and she's in a relationship with a 65-year-old a wealthy restaurateur and I want to go back to something that her mother said because her mother tried to put Russell out there like he was a groomer and she tried to put him out there like he was out here chasing after young girls like herself and you know just want to paint him as this horrible guy only for her to then allow her 21 year old daughter because let's be clear she allowed Aoki to date this man you know, I could honestly see her maybe introducing her daughter to this man um, because in another separate video that was posted on the neighborhood talk, shout out to them. They posted this video clip here of Russell and his daughter having a conversation. And she basically talked about how she was going to get a sugar daddy if Russell didn't up her allowance. Now, I want y'all to understand, this is where I think a lot of the drama comes from that we saw between Kimora and Russell recently that I spoke about. It has everything to do with money. Kimora is money-minded, and I honestly can believe that she introduced her daughter to this 65-year-old man, and people tried to, to, you know, what's funny is that, you know, Russell didn't like the idea of his daughter getting a sugar daddy and people tried to well predominantly women tried to say well you know you dated her mother when she was young well that wasn't that much of an age difference what a 15 year age difference this girl is out here on the beach taking photos lock, locking lips with a 65 year old man there ain't no telling how long these two been dealing with each other at some point, she had a boyfriend that was close to her age. But when you're raised in a household with a woman who's greedy, with a woman who's a gold digger, I have no doubt in my mind that this is all Kimura's doing. She raised her daughters to be this way, to be greedy. She's threatening. If, if he doesn't up her allowance, she's going to get a sugar daddy. Where did she learn that behavior from? She learned it from her mother. But her mother wants to act like she was groomed. But what have you done to your children to where your 21 year old daughter is being ruined mentally by being basically an object for older rich men? Because trust me, there's going to be more of those guys. She's never going to have a normal relationship with a man ever again. Not only due to what she's choosing, but her upbringing, her mother's not going to allow her to be normal. Her mother wants her to chase out the rich old men. And I'll tell you right now, I have no doubt that Kimura probably introduced them because the guy probably didn't even want Kimura. She was too old for him. So he gets with her daughter. Now, this again, this is me speaking. This is my opinion. But I mean, Kimura hasn't said anything publicly that her 21 year old daughters with a 65 year old man. I don't care how rich he is. So it's OK to date a 65 year old man because he has money. Let's get into this. It's according to People Magazine. Aoki Lee Simmons is exploring a new romance with restaurateur Ventoro Asaf. Asaf, I think that's how you pronounce it. The 21-year-old model is dating the 65-year-old founder of a restaurant group. People can confirm. Aoki and Vitaro are spending time together. That man looks like his, her grandfather. But anyway. And enjoying each other's company, a source close to Aoki tells people, adding that the couple met while vacationing in St. Barth's, a favorite Simmons family travel destination. So he, so I would assume that maybe he has a business there, and that's how he met them. That's even crazier. I told y'all, Kamora was right there in that scenario. Aoki is the youngest daughter of model and mogul Kamora Lee Simmons. And, rest, and entrepreneur Russell Simmons is following in her mother's footsteps. But see, her, see, Kimura didn't get with no 65-year-old man. There's only, what, a 15-year age difference between her and Russell? If that, probably a little bit more. 
since childhood she modeled for her family's baby fat line and just fab and in 2021 Ayoki made her runway debut modeling for Pyre Moss Paris Couture she's gone on to grace the covers of Team Vogue Roller Coaster and Flaunt and has been featured in outlets such as Vogue Hunting Huffington Post The Cut Essence and Complex Aoki has also worked with top fashion houses including Tommy Hilfiger Michael Kors Dolce Gabbana Mounts Lacoste, Tory Burch, and Kate Spade. On April 3rd, Aoki announced as the star of BCBG's campaign for a brand new capsule, BCBG New York. I don't give a shit about none of that, but we're we're talking about it because you know they guess they're putting over her career and saying well she had a career before she got with this 65 year old man listen honestly do any of y'all think that this girl is attracted to this 65 year old man this man is older than russell that's that's the thing is this guy is what nine years older than russell her father but people defend it no no and not defend People attack Russell for quote unquote grooming a young, just naive Kamora Lee only for her to green light her daughter being in this relationship because they're on vacation. We'll let you know that the courting phase is over. They already went through the courting phase. That phase is over. This is 100% Kamora Lee. I don't think her daughter, 21 years old, is just out here meeting with 65 year old uh, restaurant tours okay y'all need to give kimura the same smoke you wanted to give russell not maybe not in his other situations but in the kimura russell situation y'all made it seem like it was just such a huge age difference but what do y'all say about aoki dating a man who's old enough to be her grand that's that's about nine years older than her father is that going to be the, I know y'all going to find some way to, to try to blame Russell for this. I saw comments where there, there were women saying that, you know, well, cause I guess Russell didn't like the, the idea of her having a sugar daddy. And they were like, well, Russell, you did it with her mother. Y'all don't know any dynamic of that situation at all. You don't. We are in 2024. Okay. A hypersensitive time for men who engage in interactions with women and here you have a tw in 2024 a 21 year old girl dealing with a 65 year old man now let's see i think that's pretty much it uh yeah just putting over her uh career but we, we don't care anything about that because let's get to this video clip here I'm going to play and it's going to show y'all the mindset that this young female has. This is this is her mindset when it comes to uh, dealing with sugar daddies. My budget, I'm going to be a sugar daddy. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. OK. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? <laughs> of course you are, right? I'm just saying if you don't give me money, I'm going to go. I don't know. So you're not going to do any of that. You're just going to raise your budget. Your budget's fine. I'm going to be an ambassador for the meat industry. God is watching you. He here. She's going to be the ambassador for the meat industry. It's you. I mean, that means your higher self hears you. You know what the, you said is bad. You're not gonna do that. You're just I'm talking. Kidding, Where's that boyfriend of yours? Is he still around? Yeah, he's not. He's in. He's hiking right now. Watch if it. you don't raise. So she has a whole boyfriend talking about she gonna get a sugar daddy. Y'all gotta understand, this is women of today. A lot of the women that y'all see online, I don't care what they're posting about how they're married or they have a boyfriend. They have sugar daddies as well. A lot of. Why do y'all think these women are able to afford to go on trips? They claim they are promoting all these brands, right? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, you got all these women claiming to be entrepreneurs for all these different companies. 
No, they have a sugar daddy. They're not getting paid from none of those, from most of those things that they're promoting. They have a sugar daddy or they're, you know, they are talent. <laughs> they don't, nah, man, nah. Uh, listen, if some of you dudes, if your girlfriend is out here claiming to promote all these brands, none of those brands are making money. Uh, they're getting money from their secret sugar daddies. You know what I'm saying? Now, I want y'all to look at her body language when I play this back. It's almost as if she knows that she already has a sugar daddy. I tell y'all, man, women always have make moves before you even see it. If you see her publicly with somebody, she's already been dealing with them. This is the reality of, of Western women. And she's a Gen Zer, so you already know what's up. If you don't raise my budget, I'm going to your sugar daddy. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. What did you say? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? <laughs> of course you are, right? I'm just saying, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna go, I don't know, sell. You're not gonna do any of that. You're just gonna raise your budget. Your budget's fine. I'm gonna be an ambassador for the meat industry. God is watching you. He hears you. I that mean, that means I'm your higher self hears you. You know what the, you said is bad. You're not gonna do that. You're just I'm talking. Kidding, Where's that boyfriend of yours? Is he still around? Yeah, he's not. He's in. He's hiking right now. Watch if it. you don't raise my budget. <clears throat> Listen, man. These 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 young women are different, man. She was raised in an entirely different environment than the majority. Of, she grew up not only with a rich, successful father. Her mother was out there publicly making certain moves, uh, courtesy of Russell, but also her friends, the people that she was around, grew up, in, grew up around, uh, they were very privileged. That's the type of lifestyle she had. Anything she wanted, she got it. And also you have Kamora in the background teaching her, telling her, you need a rich man, you need a rich man. She probably like, yeah, you can have a boyfriend, but you know, get a, get a successful one. Now I'm assuming that the boyfriend ain't around no more. And she's fully embraced having a sugar daddy. You see, these are the type of women that are going to be hooked to antidepressants, you know, functional alcoholics, probably using some coke, partying. That is the road that she's paving for herself. Whenever you love money more than you love yourself, you set yourself up for failure. And I have no doubt that Kamora is setting up uh, Aoki for failure. She already has insecurity issues. She already has insecurity issues, and now she's going to be dealing with men that are going to want her to look a certain way and act a certain way, like this guy. Now, now he's 65. Maybe he doesn't care as long as she's young. Maybe he doesn't care, but I, I just think that it needs to be called out. Like, y'all quick to call out others. Y'all are quick to call out men who have young wives and young girlfriends. Y'all need to be calling this out, too. I don't want to hear nothing about Russell. People love to throw Russell out there. No, let's talk about the hypocrisy. This, listen, as I said, you know, two consenting adults doing what they do has nothing to do with me. If two consenting adults are dating each other, it has nothing to do with me. But I don't like hypocrisy. I'm not the moral police, but I don't like hypocrisy. Like, Aoki's an adult. She can do what she want to do. I don't want to see her on no podcast blaming men for why she's single. Because you know that's going to happen, too. As long as you don't say or blame men for why you're where Even Russell. You can't blame Russell. I'm sorry. Russell was in her life. You cannot blame men all your life for why your life is the way it is. Count accountability. As long as she's accountable for her actions and knows... What she's getting herself into, it is what it is. It has nothing to do with me or anybody else. So let me know what y'all think in the comments section, comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, X, Instagram. Subscribe to the Rumble channels. Check out all my other videos. I'll see y'all next one.